A key ruling in the corruption and bribery trial of Senator Bob Menendez, a federal judge issuing a ruling on a motion defense attorneys made last week. Cameras are not allowed in federal courtrooms, but senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan was inside and she's here with details. Brenda? Well, Mary Alice, a bitter defeat in court for Senator Bob Menendez when the judge refused to throw out the case against him. Menendez is on trial for bribery, conspiracy, and failing to report gifts and political donations from his friend and co-defendant, Florida eye doctor Solomon Melgan. The defense had argued the bribery charges should be dismissed because prosecutors don't have a proverbial smoking gun and no explicit proof that Menendez agreed to perform an official favor in exchange for a specific gift. They cited a recent U.S. Supreme Court decision that narrowed the definition of bribery and overturned former Virginia Governor Bob McDonald's conviction. But the defense argument didn't persuade Judge William Walls. He said, this idea of specificity doesn't make sense, adding, McDonald cannot be a death knell to the so-called stream of benefits bribery case. Walls explained, given the prosecution's evidence, a rational jury could deduce the defendants entered into a quid pro quo agreement. That's why we are going to the jury, and that's it. The jury was then informed that after hours of waiting, the defense would finally get underway, to which the jury responded, yay, they've been at this seven weeks. Defense attorneys called Menendez's son to describe the close relationship his father has had for decades with a doctor. Bob Menendez Jr. testified he calls Dr. Melgan Tio, which means uncle in Spanish, and when they stayed at Melgan's vacation home in the Dominican Republic, his dad could unwind, be himself, just relax. They're the best when they're together. The defense called Flora Melgan, the doctor's wife, who testified in Spanish the family called Melgan and Menendez Sal Bob because they're like family. But prosecutors objected when the defense tried to get Mrs. Melgan to talk about the $1,000 cash wedding gift Menendez gave to Melgan's daughter. Prosecution attorney Monique Abrashami said, being friends and having a corrupt relationship are not mutually exclusive. Defense attorney Abby Lowell argued, this is something the senator chose to do as a family member. It undercuts the notion of their relationship as one of corruption. The judge quipped, $1,000 coming from a senator, as far as I'm concerned, is chump change. It's up to the jury to determine the quality of the relationship. Senator Menendez was typically upbeat as he left the courthouse, saying, I look forward to putting on all of our defense. They'll be back tomorrow. The defense, the defense will continue presenting its case.